Oh, hi then. I'm getting all ready for a big day at the Emmys. Just gonna get my hair sort of sorted out. Doesn't just happen, but I can tell you it's probably all gonna come undone as soon as I hit the red carpet anyway. I'm right here, baby. He's getting ready. 69th Emmys. It's Bert, gonna be awesome. Your first ever Emmys, my second ever Emmys. We're very excited, and uh, I'm gonna show you what a day at the Emmys is like. So I'm just getting ready now, and when I've gotten ready, we're gonna hit the road. Okay, and now I can't find my tickets. The one thing I needed to do. Yes, I know you've got yours. Oh wait, no, it's there. It's it's here. We got it. Emmy ticket. This is getting me into the big show. Here we are downtown Los Angeles in the ride share, um, waiting to, to get to the Emmys. We are en route. Charlie, what are you, what, how are you feeling? I am like excited. This is something I've dreamed of since I was a kid, mm. uh, going to one of these types of things. Yeah. And now it's actually happening. And uh, uh, thank South you, Matt, Street. for uh, helping me get these tickets also. No worries, and... Not you, Matt, actually, the guy who helped me get the tickets. Oh, cool. I like you too. I was like, I didn't do much to help you get them, and I was going, I'll like definitely take the credit. I'll definitely take it. Um, we've got some good news regarding the tickets. I haven't lost mine again. Mine's next to my heart. Oh, okay. I hope you've also got a physical copy. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I okay, go. Yes. Because it's literally it's in my breast pocket, which yeah. is next to where my heart is. Uh, we are starting to hit the blocked roads. So this is good. We must be close to the Emmys if roads are starting to be blocked. This is good news. I can I can sense it. I can like feel the Emmys. Oh, look at the train here. There's a train line here. Oh, above ground trams. There we go. This is a sign for the limos. There we go. Road closed here. This is, that's where it's happening. We just gotta now find how we can get into them. We got out of the ride chair. We are now trying to find on foot the entrance to the red carpet. Good news, still got my ticket. <laughs> Bad news, my hair's starting to come undone as I predicted. Well, we found the entrance. We found the red carpet. We're here. You are so excited, Charlie. You're like a kid in a candy store. How are you feeling? Um, I am over the moon with this. I, I get a better wait. background. No, no, no. So, so talk to us with an Emmys thing behind you. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. This is fantastic. This is unbelievable. And it's not too hot. The breeze feels good. I can't wait to see what, what's going to happen tonight. Well, you can see that red carpet. Here we are in the belly of the beast. We are going to be looking for our guys on the red carpet doing interviews. Chris Boomer Beecham and Marcus Dixon. They're going to be in there somewhere and we're going to try and get away from them on the red carpet. Water. This is pretty interesting. For the first year ever, the Emmys have done an indoor red carpet to keep us nice and cool. Charles is his free water. It's all going... Um, Thank you. Yeah, it's all going very well. And we're on the side of the red carpet um, for the non-celebrities, the non-nominees. Uh, no one's writers. To, no one wants to talk with us. No one's wanting to Writers, do producers, you know, oh, I'm nobody's. sure some of them are walking along of <laughs> the... Oh, uh, 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 so Kim is already an Emmy winner. Kim Estes, that's right, congratulations, you're a form actor, congratulations. Yes. Charlie Bryant, right from yeah. Gold Derby. Oh, you're a Gold Derby guy. Yeah. yeah. We go with an Emmy, Emmy winner. winner. Kim Estes. Fantastic. Big fan of Gold Derby, right? Big fan, huge fan of Gold Derby. I'll see you guys next week at the function. I'm going to be back in Sydney. No. Yes. We're going to be in DC. No. 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 But Chris yeah. and Marcus that are out there, they'll be there. If I can crash yeah, in your yeah. place, then it's cool, right? Yeah. So you can see behind this hedge, is where all the nominees and actors and stuff are walking along. We're going to look out for the, the big names we want to see, though, are Chris Boomer Beach and Marcus Dixon from Gold Derby. We found Chris and Marcus. As you can see, we have found Chris and Marcus back there somewhere. There they are, I think Chris Beecham right there. 
But as expected, this is where the biggest crowd is. Everyone's wanting to get a look at Chris and Marcus. Oh God, yeah, and everyone's yeah, looking at this. Impossible to get any closer they to them at the moment. They are swamped. These are so swamped. the big Emmy superstars. We've now exited the air conditioned section of the red carpet. This is where the people like us that were walking through the sort of non-press side of the red carpet come out that door there. And the people who have been interviewed, the celebrities and stuff like that come out that door there. And the two parts of the red carpet meet as we enter the Microsoft Theatre. Okay, here is the lobby. Celebrities filing in. I can see a Louis C.K. behind me there. Okay, cocktail bar is closed. They're wanting everyone to take their seats. This show is to start on time and it's about 15 minutes off now. Well, if the red carpet was the belly of the beast, then the Microsoft Theatre is the belly of the belly of the beast. There it is, the Emmy that's where it's all gonna happen. Dreams are gonna be made, hopes are gonna be crushed, and we're gonna have a lot of fun along the way with Stephen Colbert hosting one of our favorites. And the music you can hear in the background is John Baptiste and Stay Human. Um, Stephen Colbert's house band entertaining us before the show by playing some stuff, that's great. I'm here with Gabe. You excited, Gabe? Your totally first Emmys excited. too. Yeah, totally. So we're going to be, I think, sitting together. Where are you? Three, yeah. three, three, two. Yeah, fantastic. Well, it's an Emmy commercial break, and here's what it looks like: people hitting up the bar uh, with some of the nominees and stars, and we're going to go up to the second level now, so you can see underneath me all the stars and all the nominees and just the other people attending here, hitting up the bar, having their break. Here we go, an MEI sculpture that was looking a bit more impressive at the beginning of the night, but uh, still that something at the Emmys. So here we go, here's what it looks like in the theatre during a commercial break. See, you could probably, probably too far away, but you can see the stars and people standing up, having a chat. <laughs> last commercial break at the Emmys. Bar is now closed, so that's why you see a lot less stars here behind me. Um, I thought this was interesting. One of the sponsors is Stranger Things. There are 18 Emmy nominations uh, at the Microsoft Theatre, doing everything they can to campaign, but too late now, guys, because voting's closed. Best drama series, a real toss-up. Handmaid's Tales had a great night, but Stranger Things went into today, the front runner, so I'm on the edge of my seat. Who's going to win that? Here we going now to get my seat. Hey, welcome back to the Emmys, everybody. Well, we've finished the Emmy Awards for 2016. Down behind me, you can see the nominees, stars, industry insiders, and winners filing out to head to the Governor's Wards and various after parties. Well, here I am at the HBO Emmy after party. Okay, here we are, HBO after party, Marcus James Dixon. What? What do you mean, what? This is an awesome party. This is saw. so great. Larry David, Larry Julie David, Louis Dreyfus, Big jo Wise, John Oliver. Yeah. It's pretty good. Ben pretty Affleck. Good. Yeah, he's we cool. saw Ben Affleck. Pretty cool. Let's have a bit of a look at what the room looks like. We've got um, things behind us. Sh chandeliers, li a lot of lions. lions I no Game of Thrones because they were not eligible. But no, they will be next year. Look at this: is water features. <laughs> There's <laughs> things, huts like gazebos. Is that a gazebo? Here we go, arriving back from the Emmy Awards. Is Charlie? Do you have a good time? Oh, I had a blast. And look. Nothing says end of an Emmy season like 3am pizza. <laughs> so here we go.